Yep, I actually want to do 20 years plus in the army. What is going on guys? So for today's video, it's gonna be one of those where I'm just gonna to talk to you guys about something that is on my mind and it is something, it's a question really, that I actually get a lot. A lot of people ask me how long I want to be in the army, how long do I want to stay in, do I want to retire, do I want to make a career out of this? And if you guys didn't know, I'm in the army reserves. And one of the reasons that I'm in the army reserves is because I really, 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 really love the army but also really, really, really love things outside of the army. And I really took a look at my life, some of the things that I wanted to accomplish in my life at the age that I joined, which was 22 years old. And you know, I realized that the army reserves was the best choice for me. To me, it is the best of both worlds. You can get your army fixed, you can get your civilian side fixed, you can get your deployments in, you can go do other things in the reserves. Like you don't actually have to do just the drilling monthly thing in the reserve. You can do other things kind of above and beyond. You can even do AGR, but I don't want to do AGR. That's another thing, another topic for another day. But for me, I want to do 20 plus years. If you guys didn't know, I have been in the Army Reserves for almost four years. My enlistment date or whatever is February the 13th, 2015. So I guess I'm about four, what is that, four months away from that? And why is it that I actually do want to do at least 20 years in the Army Reserves? And the reason is the answer that I give whenever people ask me what's my favorite thing about being in the military, and that is just being a part of the military is like my favorite thing about being in the military. Like it's not like, oh, you know, I love the guns. It's not like, oh yeah, I love the camaraderie. It's like not like, oh yeah, I love just like the, whatever you know if that's not what it is to me just being a part of the army is what i love about it i love really kind of like being in uniform i love being a soldier now i'm an officer so i guess you just call me an officer you don't necessarily always kind of just refer to officers as soldiers you just call them officers you call them listed soldiers soldiers but for me being in the uniform being a part of that something bigger being a part of the army being able to make a difference in an organization in a way, which you can do on the civilian side, but for me, kind of doing that as in the military, kind of as a way to give back, and, you know, there's a million, there's really a lot of reasons why I did join the Army, but one of them, I guess, is to give back a little bit. And for me, the Army Reserves, or the military in general, is really just kind of, it's what you make of it. If you join for the right reasons, and for me, being a part of the military is one of the reasons I wanted to join it. Just, I wanted to be a soldier. I wanted to be in the army in some capacity. And because of that, you know, whenever my contract expires as an officer, so, you know, the, when the four year commitment is up for me, I'm not going to be looking forward to getting out. I'm going to be looking forward to just staying in. Because again, one of the good things about being in the Army Reserves, and you can kind of do this if you do your active duty and then switch to the Army Reserves, is Army Reserves, like I said, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. And to me, I mean, I see no reason whatsoever why I should get out of the military. I really don't. Like for me, you know, I say 20 plus years in the military because for me, I want to, and I said for me a whole bunch of times, but I do want to rank up as an officer and I want to do my time. I did approximately two to three years as enlisted and the rest of that time I'm going to spend it as an officer and you know once I hit that 20 years in the reserves there's really again there's like no reason for you to get out in my opinion at that point if you were in the reserves of the guard because it's not as big of a commitment I guess you could say and even if you are active duty and you do 20 years you can get out ish and go to the army reserves or you can go to the national guard and do even more time to get more points because the way it works in the reserves and the guard for your retirement is you accumulate points every single year and then once you hit 60 years of age it's not just as soon as you retire like it is if you're active duty if you're active duty and you retire you get your retirement benefits basically right away essentially it's not gonna be like that day or whatever but in the reserves and in the national guard that's not the case you can retire after 20 years but you don't actually get your retirement pay until you are 60 years old that's not actually when you start pulling those benefits so if for me i did 20 years i would be retiring at 42 which means i have 18 more years left until i can get that retirement so the way I look at it is once I hit those 20 years, I've already put in those 20 years in the reserves. I've already got, hopefully, a couple of deployments under my belt. 
there's not that much of a negative thing for me to stay in and do like 25 years or so. And a lot of people will stay in the Army Reserves and the National Guard for a pretty long time because of this reason I'm talking about, which is it's just not as big of a commitment on your life. So there's really no reason why I couldn't do 30 years in the, the military, which is kind of crazy to think about. But if I did 30 years, I would be 52, maybe around that time, you know, I could get out eight more years until my retirement. And now one of the negative things that people will say about retiring in the reserves or retiring in the National Guard is you're not going to get the same amount of retirement pay that you do if you are active duty. Yes, that is 100,000% true, but it's also, it's not something just to like scoff and be like, huh, no, you know, especially for me, I'm going to be an officer. I'm going to have, you know, basically 20 plus years at whatever I'm ranking I'm at. It's going to be at the very least a captain. And it's a little bit different ranking up as officers in the reserve. So at the very least, it's a captain, possibly major. If I'm really lucky, Lieutenant Colonel, you know, 20 plus years at that rank is nothing that you should want to throw it away, especially if I end up doing like 25 years, for example, 26 years, because every single year in the reserves, you're going to be accumulating points. The more deployments you have as well, those are gonna give you a whole lot more points. And now I am going to be making a video in the future very soon about the whole retirement and the reserves because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And because it is all points related, I kind of want to do a video on it and then kind of give you guys a few numbers and stuff as well to actually kind of show you, you know, retirement active duty versus retirement in the reserves, you know, depending on how many deployments and stuff you have. Because the thing is, in the reserves, your retirement is literally going to vary person by person because not every single person is going to have the same number of points. Whereas active duty, it's kind of like if everybody just does, you know, just 20 years and you get out on that day, like your retirement is essentially going to be the same thing. So it's a lot easier to look up how much you're going to get for retirement if you're active duty. But reserves, it's a little bit different. So I do want to make a video on that. But really for me right now, I see absolutely no reason why I would want to get out of the military. For me, doing what I want to do right now, which is like the Army Reserves, doing this civilian side stuff, even doing like this YouTube, like I don't for, I can't tell the future. Like I can't predict the future. So, you know, sometime from now, something could happen where I might have to get out of the military, but I don't see that happening. When my, when my first chance, my first chance to get out is going to be almost eight years in. So I'm gonna be already almost halfway through until retirement, my first chance to get out. So it's like kind of why not just finish out those extra 12 years again in the reserves, get a couple of deployments, that'll give me a whole bunch more points for my retirement. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, no matter how much time you kind of spend in, no matter how you know low of a rank or if you stay enlisted or if you go officer, I guarantee you, whenever you look back and you're 60 years old, you're gonna be like, crap, I should have done it. I should have finished out, you know, I should have done this, you know, I should have got that extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month or whatever it's gonna be in the reserves. Active duty, it could be more, but again, it's gonna vary for reserves. But you're gonna look back and be like, dang it, I should have done it. And, you know, I really liked it, but you know, I was wanting to do all these other things and I don't wanna do that for me. I don't wanna do that for me. I love the military. And I know when I'm six years old, I'm really gonna love that retirement check as well. So that's basically it for this video of me talking to you guys and rambling on. So if you made it to this video, that is freaking amazing. But that, I mean, that's it. You know, I wanna do 20 plus years in the military because being a part of the military is my favorite thing about being in the military. So like, if I get out of it, I'm not going to have my favorite thing. Like I'm, I know for a fact, if I were to get out, I would miss it you know even the reserves whatever like i would really really miss it and i, I don't want to do that to myself so i'm just going to do in my opinion my you know looking into the future i'm going to do at least 20 years that is my goal that is my plan people ask me that all the time so there's your answer and now that i am completely done with this video i just want to give jim fidel a big shout out for this give me caffeine and something heavy t-shirt i actually really love this one it's i feel like it just embodies myself in a way it's just like give me caffeine and let's head to the gym and lift something heavy i don't know i just i love this t-shirt but check it out if you guys want to 20 percent off with code war but that is it for this video hit that like button if you haven't already i don't know why you've made it to this video and if you haven't hit the like button like what are you doing hit that subscribe button as well if you've made it to this video and you haven't subscribed like what are you doing hit that notification bell button if you just want to make my day because i understand you know it's a big deal it's a big ask 
it's a really big ask to have somebody hit that notification bell button. So if you do choose to be a part of the notification squad, like it literally, it, it makes my day. It makes my day. I'm telling you guys, it really does. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. And I will see you later. Drop.